Howdy everyone! People who regularly check out my YouTube channel will know that I try to review all kinds of camera lenses, but the most popular videos are always the lower budget lenses. So here are 18 of my favourite low budget lenses, 9 of which are compatible with full frame cameras as well as APS-C, and 9 of which are just designed for APS-C cameras. And just a quick caveat, I use Canon gear myself, so you won't find any Nikon, Sony or Pentax lenses here. And remember, Canon's own lenses don't work on other cameras. Let's start with lenses designed to work on both full frame and APS-C cameras. First up, we have the Canon 24-85mm f3.5-4.5 USM which is discontinued now but can be found on eBay for about £70 or $100. US If you're after a very small and inexpensive zoom lens for your full frame camera, then this is one of my favourites. It has a great zoom range, a slightly faster aperture than other cheap kit lenses, it's nice and small, and most importantly, it's impressively sharp. A very handy little lens. Next up, we have the Lensbaby 5.8mm f3.5 circular fisheye lens, about £220. I'm still working on my review of this lens, but I can tell you now, it's a ton of fun, and very sharp when you stop down at its aperture. It also works very well on APS-C cameras too, perhaps even better, although for video work, it's best used on full frame. In 7th place we have the Sigma 20mm f1.8. It seems to be discontinued these days, but you can find it for about £250 or about $400 on eBay. When I tested this lens, it technically had pretty weak picture quality, being a bit soft, with horrendous vignetting and ugly bokeh. But its ultra-wide angle and fast aperture means you can get some amazingly unique and dramatic pictures with it, making it one of the most enjoyable lenses I've used in a long time. At number 6 we have the Samyang 85mm f1.4. Need a good portrait lens on the list, and this is one of the best value around. I was thinking of recommending the Canon 85mm f1.8, which is also very nice and it has autofocus, but this Samyang lens has a much wider aperture and costs even less. It's a manual focus lens, but it's nice and sharp, and it can give you stunning pictures. It's been a popular lens for a lot of people for a long time. Number 5 on my list is the Canon 40mm f2.8 pancake lens, available for only about £130 or $150. US dollars. This tiny lens has an extremely useful focal length, along with a reasonably good f2.8 maximum aperture. This lens is very sharp indeed, and very handy. It'll certainly make your camera more portable. It's great value for money. Number 4 is the Tamron 70-300mm VC USD, about £250 or $350-$400. US this is my favourite telephoto zoom lens for full frame cameras, because it has such nice build quality, as well as having reasonably good picture quality and good image stabilisation. If you're looking for a good, low budget telephoto zoom lens, then this option really is great value. Number 3 is another Tamron lens, the 28-75mm f2.8, which can be found new for as little as £250 or US dollars if you know where to look. If you don't need image stabilisation, then this makes a very decent fast standard zoom lens for your full frame camera, covering all your bases, being pretty sharp and compact, with quite a fast aperture. It's been a popular lens for a long time now, but it still works great and gets lovely pictures. Number 2 is the Samyang 35mm f1.4. I've put it at number 2 firstly because 35mm is probably the most useful focal length you can get on a full frame camera, which is a nice wide angle. But the maximum aperture of f1.4 is really magical, giving you beautiful out of focus backgrounds. The lens itself is very sharp indeed, with all round great image quality. It's a manual focus lens, and at £350 new, or about $500, it's not cheap, but it's nearly half the price of the nearest competing lens. 
If I only had one prime lens, it would be a 35mm f1.4, and this particular one is a great performer for a great price. And number one, of course, is the Canon 50mm f1.8, a great lens for either full-frame or APS-C cameras. Getting any f1.8 lens for under £100 or $100 is astonishing value for money, and the wonderful pictures this lens can get you for that price mean that it's a piece of kit that's really opened up a lot of people's photography. I personally don't exactly love all aspects of this lens's image quality, and watch my review to find out what I mean by that. Unsurprisingly, it's also rather cheaply made. But there's simply no denying that it's pretty sharp, and it can get you pictures with real depth. The Canon 50mm f1.8 is probably the best value camera lens you can get, whether you're using full frame or APS-C. A couple of things for your information, a Chinese company called Yongno have just released their own, even cheaper version of this lens. I haven't tested it though. And also, at the time of this video, Canon are also planning to release a new 50mm lens which could also be very cheap. Keep an eye out for that one too. Ok, let's look at 9 lenses that are especially designed for APS-C cameras. Some of these will physically fit on a full frame camera, but you'll get vignetting in the edges, and the Canon lenses won't actually fit at all. I'm not including Canon's kit lens in this comparison, even though technically it's fairly good. At number 9 we have the Holger lens, costing only about £20 new, making it one of the cheapest lenses in the world to buy. Ok, admittedly it's just a bit of fun, especially with its difficult effective aperture of f22, but when used outside in the sunshine it is pretty enjoyable, as well as looking kind of cool, and the pictures you'll get are certainly distinctive. At number 8 we have the Tamron 60mm f2 macro, costing around £300 new. I really like this lens because of its sharpness, macro capability, and nice 60mm focal length, which makes it better for general purpose photography than a 100mm macro lens. The wide aperture of f2 makes it great for portrait and low light work too. At number 7, the Samyang 16mm f2 also around £300, or $450. US I've been working with this lens quite a lot recently. It's amazingly sharp, with all-round great image quality. Its 16mm wide angle is super useful, giving you dramatic wide angle images, and the bright f2 aperture makes this the king of APS-C wide angle lenses. Like all Samyang lenses, it's manual focus only. At number 6, Canon's new 10-18mm f4.5-5.6 IS-STM Ultra Wide Angle Lens, around £250 or $300. US This lens's slow maximum aperture and narrow zoom range mean that it's not the most fun ultra wide angle lens to play with, but it does get you down to 10mm very nicely. It's very sharp indeed, small and light with image stabilisation and its very low price means that it's a lens that could open up ultra-wide angle photography for a lot of new people, and you just can't argue with that. At number 5, it's the brand new 24mm f2.8 STM Pancake Lens from Canon. It's a super fun lens with an extremely useful focal length, perfect for everyday use. It's got lovely build quality, and there's nothing wrong with its picture quality either, being nice and sharp. It's not going to rock your photography world, being quite a conventional lens. But it's really great value for money, being about £150 or $150 US dollars, and most of all, of course, it's very cute. The Samyang 8mm f3.5 fisheye lens comes in at number 4. It's about £250 or $300 US dollars. For that price you essentially get the best fisheye lens for APS-C cameras, it's my favourite anyway. Stop the aperture down to f5.6 and it's fantastically sharp, and its 8mm projection makes it wider than your typical fisheye lens. I've recently upgraded to the full frame 12mm version of this lens, which is absolutely brilliant. But some of my favourite pictures were taken with this 8mm APS-C version. 
it's serious fun and an occasionally useful professional tool. At number 3, the STM version of Canon's 55-250mm telephoto zoom lens. It's about £200 or $250 US dollars, and for that price you're getting just about the sharpest and most nicely built telephoto lens for any APS-C camera. I was really surprised by its sharpness when I tested it out earlier this year, and its handy zoom range and STM autofocus and excellent image stabilization makes this lens for full frame camera owners to envy. The older, non-STM version of this lens is even cheaper, but it doesn't have quite the same image and build quality. This is the good value telephoto lens I recommend to almost everyone. At number 2, the Sigma 30mm f1.4 ART. That's the new ART version of the lens, not the clunky older version. It's about £300 or $400. US This lens has it all. A really nice 30mm focal length, perfect for everyday use, but also able to pick out your subject a little bit. It has an extremely wide maximum aperture of f1.4, letting in tons of light and giving you some very nicely out of focus backgrounds. It's small and very well built, and it's quite sharp too, although it does have a slight issue with chromatic aberration. Overall, I think a lot of people would enjoy their photography a lot more with this little thing on their cameras. And number one is the Sigma 17-50mm f2.8 OS HSM. It's about £300 or $450, US dollars, and it's the lens I most recommend to many people. It's a fast standard zoom lens with image stabilization, so it covers all your bases, giving you a good zoom range and a lot of light coming through. But the really impressive thing about this lens is how sharp it is. Seriously sharp. If I only had one lens for my APS-C camera, it would definitely be this. Or maybe the 30mm f1.4. So there you go. My head has now been completely mined of camera lens knowledge for you all. What do you think of my list? Do you know of any other great value budget lenses? And is there anything I've missed out? Leave a comment below and in the meantime, Get whatever lens helps you have the most fun with your photography, because at the end of the day, that's all that really counts. God bless.